Whoa. They're going defense. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't the biggest. That's the jelly of the month club Woo! right there. They're just going straight Bro. jelly of the month club. Fruit cake That's... for Christmas, Aaron. <laughs> Fruit cake for Christmas. Yo. Now, this. Ron Walker. Go off. Him and him, Eric Stokes making it into the first round. Not crazy surprising. I was hearing like some okay. people yeah. talking to people yesterday. People weren't going to be spocked if one or both of the Georgia corner, corners found their way into the first round. But for this team, in the yeah, context this of this day, the day they've in had. this offseason, <laughs> with this quarterback, yeah, no. this is an act of war. Yeah. This is a flat out act of war against Aaron Rodgers. They, they say you want to go out here and leak all these reports that you don't want to be here. Well, I'll give you a couple more reasons as to why you don't want to be here. You can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Same energy. Same exact energy. Uh, shouts to Eric. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that he gets this early bid. Like, it was one that, to your point, like, I didn't realize that the discussion had picked up surrounding Eric to this. Uh, to this level, right? And and Fitzgerald and can holler at uh, Barry and Field about just how much more value he adds specifically to that side of the ball. Just my question, though, really quick: What is Aaron Rodgers doing right now? Is he? Uh, is he because watching? he's been watching Nash League? That's my question. Aaron, yeah, Aaron Rodgers has a glass of scotch because we know he's not chugging beers at this point. We've seen that that ship has sailed. Yeah. Right. He's got three fingers of scotch right now, and he is looking at, I would imagine, real estate in California somewhere. But I'm telling you all, though, like, is there not a spot here where we look at the Packers and say, they don't give a damn what Aaron Rodgers is doing. They absolutely don't. Like, they don't. Would you repeat it? Like, really? what, they don't care. Like, pride comes before the fall fits. At some point, it gets ridiculous. Dan Orlovsky just tweeted this. The Packers' last nine draft picks are eight defensive players and the quarterback they picked to replace Aaron Rodgers. Go ahead. You go further back than that, go, Joe. I'll give you a, I'll give you a little trivia. Hell yeah. For Love the past that. 16 years, <laughs> who are all the skill players the Packers have drafted in the first round? I'll wait. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love. It's crazy. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, wait. But let me play the Packers fan uh, part of it. They went 13-3 and three last year. Aaron's sitting here complaining right. about everything. They went 13-3 and three and had a legit totally. shot at the Super Bowl. Yeah, so totally. if I run the Packers, I say, hey, Aaron, you might not like the way we do business. That's but fair. we like the way we do business. And you signed a contract. So you may not want to play without these weapons. But guess what? We don't really care. I mean, We're going to build the way we want to build. That's fine. Then, Have fun playing with Jordan Love next year. Yeah, well, if listen, Aaron Rodgers wants to give back no, that but, money and retire, like I'll, I'll tell Aaron, cute. Cool, you don't want to play here, awesome. Give me a hug, we'll see you in the fall. Or we'll take back whatever money we have the right to take back, and you can just sit on your butt and not play football. <laughs> but they said they were comfortable going with Jordan Love the minute they drafted him. Yeah, a thousand percent. Listen, they absolutely do not care about Aaron Rodgers, or if they do, they've mismanaged it horribly, right? <laughs> so, but the, but the other thing here is, is that, I, listen, could they improve their, their offensive weapons? Of course they could. But the issue with the Packers last year wasn't their offense. Like, they moved yeah. the ball well, and listen, they, they found something in Robert Tanyan. Like, Alan Lazard and Marquez Valdez-Scantling, you know, stepped up in ways that we didn't expect last year. Like, like could, the, could you improve that offense? You could, but they, they, they signed Aaron Jones. They bring him back uh, on the big deal. It feels like, reading between the lines from what we've seen, you know, Adam Schefter tweet today and, and the reports that we're hearing, this, there's just a real – distrust and dislike between, you know, Aaron Rodgers' issues go deeper than a contract, deeper than drafting Jordan Love in the first round last year. Like, there's a lot there, you know. I, there's a lot there it feels like to unpack. Well, Ashley, and I don't know if thing, drafting a, a, a wide receiver, you know, drafting Elijah Moore here would have fixed that. Right. Actually, so, the one thing we know is that Jeopardy ratings would have gone up. I mean, they're no, it's, going it's, to go up. It's a really good point, though, by Matthew, is that, like, Ultimately, we don't think that the Aaron Rodgers Packers drama goes away because of Elijah Moore versus Eric Stokes. My thought is like, and I feel like we saw this before some of the legal things came to to the surface with Deshaun Watson that like it was baby steps, right, to sort of repair the relationship. You know, the team at one point seemingly told Deshaun they wanted him to have a voice in the coach and general manager search and then ignored the suggestions that he had, most notably Eric Bieniemy for the head coaching search. So for Aaron Rodgers, it's not that this pick dictates everything, but it's like there's like small signs, like small olive branches being extended to Aaron Rodgers. You know, you feel bad for a kid in Eric Stokes who, by the way, good player, like right. freakishly fast. Uh, a guy who, again, you play in the SEC, 
every Saturday is literally prep for Sundays. You're playing Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddell, and you're playing against Jamar Chase and unbelievable wide receivers everywhere. Um, it just yeah, if, um, and this is by the way, it's all brought on by the by the, pa- the Packers themselves. It's all brought on by themselves. But just you know? your, real quickly about your point about Eric Stokes. Here's a kid that has trained his entire life to reach this moment, right? Yep. It, like I I want to, you know, he's a little kid running around in the backyard. I want to be in the NFL, right? And he, it finally comes. You are a first round pick in the NFL. And all anyone's going to talk about is why aren't you a wide receiver? It reminds me of the Edelman retire right. a couple weeks ago and it's like, he's not going to the Hall of Fame. It's like, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs>